Hi, this is uh, Lewis with Viva Neon. So I want to show you all the different components that you have to uh, connect your sign. So you're going to have your sign here. Uh, you're going to have wires. There should be some sort of markings uh, with one of the wires being black and one of them being red. There'll be some markings on it. Uh, you'll have your remote control here. Uh, you'll need to get uh, two AAA batteries to install into the remote. You're going to have your LED controller. Uh, this is going to allow you to use the dimming functions to turn the sign on and off. Uh, you're also going to have a transformer that looks like this. Uh, so something that you're going to need to do is the transformer is 110 volts and also 220 volts. Uh, so make sure if you have like a small object, maybe like a toothpick or something, uh, there, you'll see a little switch in there. Just make sure that the switch is moved over to 110 volts because uh, that's what we use here in the U.S. Uh, you're going to have this switch which you're gonna to connect to the transformer and then you're gonna plug this into the wall or your outlet. And then all you're gonna need, uh, and then you're also gonna need this wire here. Uh, so we're gonna be sending you this wire and this wire. And uh, this wire is gonna connect the dimmer with your transformer. And then you're simply just gonna need a screwdriver. All right, so let's begin. So you're gonna to wanna to get your batteries in your remote. Okay, so that is ready. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, cord from your sign and you're gonna use the LED controller and you're gonna see on here where it says output and there's a negative and there's a positive output. So the red is always gonna be positive and then the black wire is always gonna be negative. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen uh, a positive and you're going to loosen a negative. Okay, and so the red one is going to go into the positive, and then the black one is going to go into the negative, just like that, and then go ahead and tighten those down. So you don't need to tighten them too hard, you just need to tighten them so that if you tug on this, they won't come loose, okay? All right. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wire here, and again, there's a positive and negative on both sides, and you're gonna use the input. So you see on the input, there's a positive and a negative, right? So you're gonna use the red positive and then the black negative, and then you're gonna connect uh, the wires to that. So go ahead and loosen this. And then you're going to put the wires in there. And then you're also going to tighten this. Okay, and then just make sure, just yank on it and make sure it doesn't come loose. And now when you're looking at your sign, or I'm sorry, at the transformer, there's going to be different markings on the transformer. Um, here you can see it says A, C, and L, and N. Okay, so we're going to actually connect this first. Now it doesn't matter which direction you put these wires on the L or the N. Um, there, this isn't really a positive and a negative. So just make sure it's on this A, C, L, and N. And this is for the switch. So you're gonna loosen the screws and then you're gonna insert the wires and then you're gonna tighten the wires down. Okay, and then just check by tugging on it. Looks like it's on there tight. And now we're gonna take this wire, positive and negative. And then if you see on here, there's gonna be a V negative and a V positive. So the V positive is gonna be for the red wire, which is positive, and the V negative is for the negative wire, which is the black wire. Okay, so you're going to loosen those screws. And then you're gonna insert the wires. And now you'll tighten those screws. And then just tug them. Looks like they're connected very well. Okay, so now you're going to take your sign and you're going to plug it in. And then you're going to use the switch. Uh, if the switch is off, then there's a light here that won't turn on. But once you turn it on, the green light lights up and then the sign lights up. 
Now there's a chance it may not turn on, and if that's the case, then just use your remote. Um, you can use the on off. And now you'll be able to use the functions on the remote. You can uh, dim it to 50%, dim it even lower to 10%, back to 100, and then you'll have access to all these cool flashing modes. And if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Thanks for uh, purchasing with Viva Neon.